Hi Pisces! This is going to be a general love reading for the mid to the end of July 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus, either for yourself or somebody that you're cross-watching for. It is going to be general, uh, so it may not resonate with you or with all of you, at least. So you can watch one of your other signs if that's the case, or you can get a personal reading. All right, let's see. What is going on with Pisces? Mid to end of July. We have healing, contemplation, and mute. Okay, so there may have been some kind of a distancing here with mute, or maybe you're in no contact. And I feel like this time period is very important, and the reason why this is happening is so that healing can occur in this connection, um, or from this connection. And there's a lot of thinking involved here. A lot of thinking about what has happened, what is going on, what is going to happen, or about whatever needs to be thought of in order to heal. So we're going to get into the details and see what this is all about. We're going to look at the current situation as well as what is coming up in the near future. So let's get started and see. We have the Page of Pentacles. Tell us what is going on with Pisces. Ooh, death and Justice. Hmm. I really feel like um, you're learning, either you or the other person, or maybe the both of you. It's like you're learning in a new way, and I feel like it has to do with um, with a cycle that has either closed out or a cycle that is closing out. And it could also be what I just said before, healing because of this separation or healing during this phase of either a separation or of being in some sort of a distance here from this person. Let's see. Let's see what else and then we're going to clarify. The Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, let's get one more. And Temperance. Hmm. You know, I'm really I'm really getting here. I'm picking up lessons. I'm picking up lessons that relate to how you balance yourself or how this person balances themselves. And it looks like, I feel like there's a progression here and by you... Okay, so when we have death and the Eight of Cups, yes, it could be an ending, it could be somebody walking away, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like a breakup or a complete separation. This could be the, like I said, I feel more of an ending of a cycle and walking away from a certain behavior, which is ultimately leading you to find your self-respect and to nurture yourself a little bit more so that you can be more balanced. And I feel like that's what's going on here. Um, and it, that could mean distancing yourself from this person or distancing yourself maybe from an energy in this connection. It could be just releasing... Um, something, some sort of an emotion, some sort of an attachment related to this connection. So we're going to clarify now and see, but that's what's, um, that's what's coming through. So I feel like you have been doing a lot of thinking, you've been contemplating a lot, um, 
about how you can take care of yourself and look out more for your own interest and think about your own healing and your own balance because temperance is also healing so it's and we have healing here so that's two times we have healing and then two times we have some kind of a walking away or closing out some sort of a cycle here or putting an end to something so let's let's see card dragging up and we will see what justice is too so let's clarify the page of pentacles we have the seven of cups the seven of cups the nine of swords and the ten of cups Yeah, you know, it's like you're learning from, from this pain. Uh, maybe the person that you're dealing with had, had very um, either inconsistent or just very confusing behavior. Um, I feel like you, you couldn't figure, maybe you can figure this person out, but something in the connection was just a little bit confusing to you. It just didn't seem very um, stable in a way. And so that was causing you a lot of anxiety because this is something that you, you really, really want with the Ten of Cups. And so it's like now, this is what you are learning from. You know, feeling that pain from something that you held so close to you, something you, you know, really hoped for or really thought was going to work out and, and it turned out to be confusing and painful. This is actually part of the lesson which is moving you towards this temperance here. So let's clarify death. Why is death here? So isn't it interesting that I kept saying closing out a cycle rather than an ending, um, which is actually more of the interpretation of the world card, and then we get the world card when, when I'm clarifying it. So it's like, again, you know, I say something and then, and then it comes out just to confirm it. So we have the Magician, the World, and Strength. Three major Arcana cards clarifying a major Arcana card. So, so I'm actually getting something very positive with this death here. It's not, it's not a negative card. Um, it's not a negative energy in this reading at all. And I'm not sugarcoating. There have been some readings where, you know, some of the truths that came out weren't all that pleasant. Um, so yeah, here I'm getting, I mean, something, something is, some cycle is closing out because you are in this process of learn, learning something about yourself or about your healing. And you really do have that power to manifest that. Look at that. I mean, the magician and strength I do feel like it's difficult right whenever we see strength I mean that does mean that you know something is challenging but but you're doing it you're manifesting at the moment you're manifesting a new cycle you're closing out a chapter and I feel like that chapter was you being a page and now you're moving up you're progressing to the queen And if, it could definitely be your person, okay? The, the roles can be switched regardless of whether or not you're cross-watching. But I feel like this is major. Like, again, major, major lesson here for you that's actually being learned. It's actually being completed. Like, you're actually closing that out. Like, okay, done. You can put a check. <laughs> you get a star. Yay, you're doing it. All right, let's clarify justice. Because actually what I'm getting with justice really is that, you know, things are balancing. That's two cards of balance, justice and temperance. And this is going to help you balance out the connection here. Or whatever is meant to happen. Look, you're being successful. We have the six of wands, the moon, and the eight of wands. So what I'm getting here is, you know what, you don't even know. 
you don't even know that you are doing this. You don't even know that you're learning a lesson here and that you're closing out this cycle. It's like you're not even aware of why this... Um, you might be. I mean, you might be aware of it on some level, but I feel like you, you had your doubts. You're like, okay, is this a lesson? Like, is this what's supposed to be happening? Is, is this um, distance or this challenge that we're going through, is it um, for the purpose of healing? Yes, it is. I mean, look at that justice. That, that This is balancing out. You're moving in that direction, you and your person in this connection. Um, victory over that. And you don't even know there's movement here. There's positive movement forward with this Eight of Wands. And this is happening now as we speak. This is the energy you're in. Okay. Let's clarify. The Eight of Cups. Even though I feel like we pretty much answered that. Look at that. The lovers. Yeah, you know, I mean, first of all, whatever it is that you're walking away from, whatever it is that you're releasing can lead to the lovers. But really what I feel is happening here is you releasing some sort of a of an expectation for for this connection with this person okay you're you're like you know what i don't need this i don't need this you can walk away from this connection and still feel like you are the freaking queen of pentacles right taking care of your own self you, you nurturing your own self comforting your own self loving your own self so let's clarify the queen of pentacles it's six of swords You are becoming the Queen of Pentacles, even though you're a Pisces, it doesn't matter. It's embodying this energy. This is the um, the, the message that Spirit's trying to get across here. By moving away from what? Look at that. Moving away from your fear of whether or not your person is going to be the Emperor or not for you. You are moving. This is what you are releasing. This is what you are walking away from. Look at that. I mean, look at all of these together. A walking away. In a way from a connection, like releasing it, right? Um, walking away from being trapped with this, with this person, whether they're going to come through or not. Again, like I said before, releasing that expectation. And ultimately, I'm not even going to clarify temperance. I mean, it's just, it's just very clear, okay? It's leading you to that healing. So, even though we already know what's coming up, let's see what else. Let's see what, what is coming up in the near future. We have the full. I don't even want to get another one. A new beginning, a new cycle, something new, something different, something that's just going to feel brand new. And it very well could be within the same connection. But whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be positive. Let's actually, let's clarify. The King of Swords. We have the King of Swords, we have Death, we have the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So, this is somebody here becoming very decisive, okay? And I feel like this is your person. I feel like this is your person. I mean, this is the second time we're getting Death. Really closing out a cycle of not moving towards this Ace of Pentacles. And it could even be you. It could be this leading you. The Four of Swords, by the way, is also a card of healing. So that's the third time we're getting that. Um, but what I'm getting here is that this Seven of Cups here, that was in the beginning, where there was a confusion concerning your person, I feel like that, you know, is no longer going to be an issue with the King of Swords here. There's going to be an ending 
of whatever that was, okay? It's just coming up again like, yes, this ending is happening and there's going to be healing and a potential for a new start with this Ace of Pentacles. Your person's also closing out a cycle. They're also learning their lesson. So I feel like this is actually happening mutually for the both of you is what we're getting here. Okay, so I'm not going to get any guidance because I feel like it pretty much came through to keep doing what you're doing. You're moving towards this healing. You don't need any guidance here. It's You're already doing it. So let's just get a final card to close out the reading. And if you like this, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Union. I'm telling you guys, you're moving in the right direction. Whether this is union with your person, and at the very least it would be union with yourself, which is the most important anyway. Okay, you are really leading, leading up or moving towards this balance and union with your own self or even with this person. And I do feel like, you know, for a lot of you it is with this person. As I said before, I feel like your person's also closing out cycles here. Alright guys, those were your messages. I love this. This was a beautiful reading. Um, keep doing what you're doing, Pisces. Much love.